Hi, today's lesson is a great one. I'll show you how to make an image map. But first, what is the meaning of image map? It's an image and a specific part of it link it to different websites. Let me see this practically. So I have here the image and I will try to link PHP to a website and for example HTML to another website and this lamp to another website. So let me see this. So starting with map tag and give it a name equal to for example make it web and close it. And within this map, we will try to specify the area that we want to link it to the website. So the first area has a hyper reference link. And let me link it to W3School. We will try to link PHP. So let me get this link from W3Schools. And here is PHP. So let me take this copy and paste it in our page. And then let me define the coordinates. Maybe the coordinates is the hardest part of image map. So let me show you this after we specify the shape. So the shape is circle. So to specify the coordinates, we will use Photoshop. And I can get the whole code online. But first, let me show you how to get it using Photoshop. So, here is the picture, and using the ruler. For circle, we have to get three values the center x, and the center y, and the radius. So, what is center x? So, now we are in x direction. And at the center, you see here on, it, on the screen, x equal to 105 pixels. 105. Then the center y. Okay. So the center y is 116 pixels. And finally, the radius. So the radius is from the center till the edge of the circle. So here we have 21 pixels. So the distance between the edge and the center, let me calculate this. So the center x is 105 minus 21. So the radius is 84. So now the map is ready, just remain to upload the picture and link it to this map. So image. And then an attribute use map. Hashtag. And the name of this map. Web. So now everything is ready. Now, but here, let me correct this to be dot. So let me check this. So here is the picture, and you see now the mouse cursor is like normal. But when we hover the PHP part, the mouse cursor change it to be hand cursor, and if we click, we will be directed to PHP page. Awesome. Let we now link this tab because it's rectangular and I want to show you how to specify a rectangular shape. So like before, using the ruler, but this time we will specify from left, top, right and bottom. So from left, we have 611 pixels.
So let me make another area. So this time 611. And then let me specify from top. Two hundred and thirty four and then from right six hundred and ninety four. And finally, from Parum, three hundred and forty five. And the shape this time is rectangular. Uh, let me change the link instead of PHP. For example, let me make it HTML. So let me check this out. Nice. But I think we specified the distance from right wrongly. From right is 692. Yeah, here. So let me change it to be 692. Nice. And finally, let me specify this shape. We also can specify it using Photoshop, but I want to show you how you can specify it online. So I will Google for it. Get get image coordinates online, and then pre align. Select the image. So the shape can be rectangular, circle, and poly. So we have seen circle and rectangular, just remain poly. Poly means that this shape is random, so it has more than one coordinates value. So it will be hard to get it using Photoshop. So poly, and then just make it empty. All what we need just is to get the coordinates. So let me specify the shape so here is the shape just show me the code and here is the coordinates copy it and paste it in our page So the coordinates will be this one and the shape will be poly. A little change the length so it will be CSS. Uh, let me make target blank so it will be open in a new tab let me check this nice fabulous so now we learned how to Specify more than one link to the same picture or two different parts from any picture So like what we have seen it's really easy, but maybe the hardest part is the coordinates But you can get it using Photoshop or online as you see you can get all the shapes online and just copy the code and paste it in your 
document so it's up to you pick what you like and see it easy for you so good luck with that and see you next time